Hi, I'm Joan, a farmer from Northeast Nebraska. My husband and I grow corn and soybeans and we finish cattle for beef on our farm. Today, I'd like to visit with you a little bit about the resources we utilize in the production of beef. And for that illustration, I'd like to borrow something from Dr. Frank Mitloner at UC Davis to demonstrate land use. First of all, let's take an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and call this our planet Earth. And on our planet Earth, we will discover that three fourths of it is made up of water and ice and only one fourth made up of land. And of that land, we only have about a business card size to use for agricultural land. And so we have water and ice three fourths, land a fourth, and then of that land, only a business card size left for agricultural land. Of that agricultural land, two thirds of it is called marginal land because of the soil quality and the rainfall, it's best used for growing grasses and roughages like that, that ruminants such as cattle, sheep and goats can utilize. While cattle are out grazing on those marginal lands, they can either raise a calf or put on their own muscle tissue. When we are able to bring those calves after weaning from their grazing places into our farm where we grow corn really well, we're able to use that other one third of this business card of growing crops. We have a growing season of May to September and we get rainfall and we have a soil quality that allows us to grow crops like corn and soybeans really well. By utilizing the whole piece of agricultural land for cattle, we can utilize the, those um, grain, the grain from the one third and the grasses from the two thirds all put together um, for that whole cycle of beef production. In addition to providing us a protein food, cattle have a product um, of organic fertilizer that we apply to crops. In fact, if you removed all of livestock, we would um, take away half of the fertilizer needs of all growing crops. And if you take away the organic fertilizer, you're gonna be more dependent on synthetic fertilizers, which again are more carbon intensive to make. And so besides utilizing agricultural land in the best manner possible by grazing those um, grassy plains and then supplementing with corn in that final phase and then using that uh, fertilizer that, that they produce back on our crops to grow another crop the following year. We are able to really be part of this beautiful cycle of grass and grain and fertilizer and the most focused and most important of all, that final product of beef which is a nutrient dense product for you and I and our families to enjoy. I hope this has helped you understand a little bit more about the resources utilized for beef production. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you.